sound that we're hearing, this noise, this is the noise of an industry here. We're not a bunch of Cheech and Chong law enforcement officers that are encouraging people to grow marijuana. Tensions around the new growers in the forest came to a head last year. Talk of Mexican drug gangs and even the cartels led to more raids and then to several shootings, mostly of Mexican men guarding big grows. What's the price of a gallon of gasoline? In the U.S., it's about three or four dollars. A single driver creates about 10,000 pounds of greenhouse gas pollution every year. It takes one acre of forest to absorb that pollution. So, where does all that pollution come from, and who's responsible? We followed one gallon of gasoline from Saudi Arabia, where Americans get 12% of our imported oil. That's when the light bulb went on. Thousands of school construction projects completed statewide don't comply with the FIELD Act. And when California Watch reporters went to ask district officials for answers... And I'm going to have to ask you to step off school property. Officer, could you please escort them off campus? Next, a rare look at dissent in Iran, including the abuse of female prisoners during and following the 2009 Green Revolution. When they were raping and torturing me, and putting out cigarettes in my body, nobody knew. The Mall of America launched its program to help spot terrorists six years ago. So the doorbell bell rings, and a husband's taking a shower, and there's this guy with a badge, and says, I work for the FBI, and, you know, and I was like, really? See, after that security guard wrote down all of your personal information, it may have become a suspicious activity report, beginning a journey from his notepad to the local police department and then on to a fusion center. At the fusion center, your data can be put into a database, where it may be kept indefinitely. Your info could then be accessed by other law enforcement agencies, like nearby police departments and the FBI. An FBI agent could even come knocking at your door. There is a substantial amount of waste in the Medicare program, and a lot of it comes from fraud. We found one of the strangest examples in rural Shasta County, where Prime has reported a seeming outbreak of a rare disease called Kwashiorkor, typically seen in children during famines. It doesn't seem possible that they could use a, some kind of a code for a disease that I don't even have or and obviously don't have. With Dr. Reddy, it really just felt like he was coaching the doctors to say what he wanted them to say. And you're not allowed to do that. Three separate medical experts, including the chief forensic pathologist for the Orange County Sheriff Coroner's Office and a biomechanical expert at UC Irvine, said, in all likelihood, an accidental fall did not break Van Ingram's neck. The break was too severe. To support his finding, the biomechanical expert showed a x-ray image of somebody who had dove in head first into a shallow pool and put it up against Van Ingram's injury. And Van's is, by orders of magnitude, worse. Take a systematic and methodical review of the safety of our own domestic nuclear facilities. There are 104 nuclear plants in the United States, originally licensed to operate for 40 years. Now, Many are reaching the end of their approved lifespan, and the companies that operate them are looking to the NRC to relicense them for another 20 years. Our reporting has uncovered serious problems with NRC oversight that could be putting over 100 million Americans who live near nuclear plants at risk. 